the left hand of creation, uh, chiral gravitational wave production in gauge flation, um, which is actually one of three projects that made up my senior thesis. Um, so there were, there were two other ones as well. Um, so what it was about was looking at models of inflation, which is a particular, the specific idea about something that happened in the universe right after the Big Bang, and looking to see, so inflation produces gravitational waves. It's predicted that you would produce gravitational radiation. And we were looking to see whether these models would have a preferred handedness of radiation, because waves can be polarized. You know, they can go like this or they can go like that. Um, so we were looking to see whether these models of inflation would have a preferred handedness. Would they produce more, say, left-handed gravitational waves than right-handed? Uh, and we found that they did. In fact, all the models that we looked at produced a lot more of one versus the other, so much so that they're observationally ruled out. I started working with my advisor my freshman winter, so I've been working with him for three and a half years. And we've come a long way. Um, I know that I've learned a lot in that time. The biggest challenge by far it was the learning curve at the beginning. Because I came into his office and I said, I want to do research. What you work on sounds really interesting. Is there anything that I can do? I know I'm just a freshman. I'm in the first physics class in the major. I've never taken any computer science. I barely know calculus. Um, you probably don't have anything for me. And he said, we'll find something. So, but the thing that he found probably was a little bit too hard. So it took a, a little bit of time to, to be able to do it. Because he said, here's this model, this cosmological model. I want you to write a simulation. Now, he didn't say it like that. He took it step by step. But in the end, that's what it ended up being. Write a simulation of the universe. And I had to start with writing hello world first because I didn't know how to do that. So there was a really, really big learning curve, and it felt pretty insurmountable at the beginning, but this, the physics was just so interesting that I said, okay, have to do it. It's actually a common misconception. Um, I'm a theorist. I don't work in the lab. I work at a desk uh, with a piece of paper and a pen and a laptop. And we don't really work in research groups either. We're sort of lone wolves, mostly. We have a research group, but everybody's working on their own thing. So sometimes, it's most of the time, it's just me and Robert. Uh, we brought in uh, another graduate student, another graduate student, a graduate student, um, to show us how to do one particular thing. But the projects are really one-on-one. -on -one. And that's just not, not just my experience. That's uh, it's just what it's like to work in theory. very first things that he had me do was to read a couple of popular science books, which I found in Kresge, uh, and devoured them you know, very quickly over the weekend. I remember I had midterms and I said, no, these are more interesting. I'm going to read these instead. Um, so that was, that was how it started with the library. Um, at one point, we were considering doing a project that neither of us knew very much about. And he said, well, go and find books on it here and try and learn as much as you can. Um, so that was another way that it connected to the library. But the most important way are the databases and the access to the scientific journals online. So the fact that I can, most of the reading that I do for my research is on you know, Physical Review D, for example. Uh, so that's been tremendously helpful. A practical tip it would be learn how to code and take a lot of math classes, but I don't think that's what you're looking for. Um, uh, you know, I think it's the same advice that I try to give myself, remind myself of, it was something that Conan O'Brien said in his speech when I was a senior graduating high school. So I was looking at this speech going, this is the school that I'm gonna go to next year. Okay, let's see what it's all about. And I remember right at the very end he said, work hard, be kind, and amazing things will happen. And the only thing that I would add to that is be brave also. I have a physics professor that says, um, what's it for? be brave, something, and don't fake. Be bold. Be bold, be brave, don't fake. So. So I'm going 
to um, work in plasma physics for six months in the Bay Area, studying the northern lights using radar. So that's going to be a big change from cosmology, mm -hmm. just to see whether, you know, this, what do I want to do when I eventually go to graduate school? So that's the plan. Thank you.